Hallelujah! Bless the Lord, oh my soul. For his right hand has got. Hello, guys! Welcome back to my channel. It's Debbie in the building, as always. It's another cooking video, guys. In today's video, I'll be making yam porridge. Is it yam porridge or yam pottage, guys? Let me know in the comment section. Some people call it yam porridge. Why some call it yam pottage? Whichever one. Let me go with yam porridge. So, I'll be making yam porridge. A sharp one. Very simple. For dinner. So, guys, if you want to know how I made that yum delicious yam porridge, watch till the end yeah and if you are new to my channel please don't forget to hit the subscribe button join the family okay join us okay and please if you love the siam porridge don't forget to give me a thumbs up yeah a thumbs up guys don't forget if you are my old returning subscriber, I appreciate you. I'm so grateful. Thank you so much for always coming and showing me love. I really appreciate you. Words alone cannot describe how happy and how grateful I am. Thank you all. God bless you all. In Jesus' name, amen. So guys, let's get cooking. These are the ingredients I'll be using for my yam. This is the yam. I'll be using one bell pepper and one scotch bonnet pepper. My frozen spinach as a vegetable. You can use any vegetable of your choice. Red oil red palm oil then one onion half seasoning cube salt and crayfish then the protein i'll be using for this yam is my mackerel fish so i will start by washing and peeling the yam let's start peeling the yam guys you are the mighty man in battle El Shaddai you are the mighty man in battle Jehovah is you are the mighty man in battle. El Shaddai, you are the mighty man in battle. Glory to your name. Ibu Onye Dikena. El Shaddai, Ibu Onye Dikena. Jehovah Yahweh, Ibu Onye Dikena. El Shaddai, Ibu Onye Dikena. Ekele Diwiki, you are the mighty man in battle. El Shaddai, you are the mighty man in battle. After peeling the yam, I went ahead and washed and chopped the bell pepper and put them in my small electric masher just to grind it a little bit as you can see mind you the bell pepper is not spicy at all and you don't need the seed all you do is just remove the seeds wash it up 
and chop it just the way I did. I also went ahead and chopped the onion. I will be blending the onion with the bell peppers. I divided the onion, then brought out a little that I will use in frying the bell pepper. And then went ahead and blended others as you can see feel my cup load I hope you guys are enjoying my song yeah that is what i do while cooking i sing a lot i love singing so i sing most times while cooking so i just finished blending everything and poured it inside a pot cooking it till the excess water dries up now the water has dried up as you can see so it's time to add other things. Then I went ahead and poured my red oil, my palm oil, added the onion, the one I set aside, then my salt and crayfish, then stirred everything up properly. <coughs> After a few minutes, I went ahead and added the yam. Remember, I've washed the yam. After adding the yam, I mixed everything properly. And then I added a little water. I made sure the water is not above the level of the yam. As you can see, I don't need much water. I tested for salt and everything is okay. It's perfect. So I covered the pot up. And now I went ahead and seasoned my fish my mackerel fish i've already washed it so i used just salt my aromat and dry pepper the mackerel fish is already tasty it's naturally tasty so i don't need much spices after seasoning the mackerel fish I came back to the pot to check if the yam has cooked to soft I checked it with my toothpick and the yam is soft enough so I went ahead and added my spinach mind you have already washed my spinach I defrosted it and then washed it a little bit and squeezed out the excess water in it you know that's how I usually do it so I stirred everything up together, as you can see. I stirred and stirred and make sure everything mixes up properly. Then I covered back the pot and allowed it to cook for a few minutes. And that is all guys my yam porridge is ready can you see that can you can you see that now i set it aside and started frying my mackerel fish as you can see i 
after frying one side I flipped the back and fried the other side and I made sure I fried till it's golden brown. Can you see the head of the fish? That's my favorite part of the fish. If you are a head of fish lover, let me know in the comment section. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. See you all in my next video. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Bye.